Hello everybody, my name is Jeremiah Kuria. I am the Executive Director of Ubuntu Life Foundation and uh, I am one of the clients for Mze Kenya Studios and uh, oh, what a joy it has been uh, as a client uh, to work together in partnership. Uh, we have been uh, having lots of uh, jobs to do for the foundation as we support the children with special needs, needing lots of photos taken, lots of videos and uh yeah and the work has been of high quality i've appreciated that and more than anything else i've enjoyed the commitment uh, of the team of the kenya studios because they are always committed they are always there and uh, when you agree on the timelines they always do it if you say 3 p.m on friday 255 you have all your videos all your photos good quality uh, i've enjoyed i've enjoyed uh, as a client and I just highly recommend that uh, you continue to uh, support the work that Mzai Kenya Studios is doing. And uh, so continue watching uh, this channel of Mzai Kenya Studios as you continue to enjoy all the things that will be coming uh, later on. Asante sana. Mzai Kenya Studios, substantial quality precision. So most of the most of the young people wanna starting up business lakini zina kosa work because of lack of consistency. Mtu anaanza leo the next thing amebadilisha mind. So hiyo kutotulia place unapata hakuna growth ya hiyo biashara because hakuna Iyo consistency ya kila siku kila siku customer anakuja leo kesho akikuja umefunga that kind of a thing kuna pia impatience mtu anataka kifungua biz that same day ishike that same day produce results that same day aomoke so most young people hawana patience for you to sustain a business lazima ukuwe very patient ukuwe prayerful pia ukuwe mtu wa kuvumilia ups and downs biashara they are not the best they are the best and not the best too kwa sababu kuna hizo ups and downs leo kuko na faida kesho kuna hasara faida na hasara zinapigana kompe kwa biashara so you have to be patient in every step of the way another one ni peer pressure most young people wana to groups groups tonye tunawa influence ama unapata friends we ukianza kitu ulikuwa na your own principles this is what i want to achieve at the end of the day lakini unapata through peer pressure umeitwa kasherehe umeenda party after party unakula mpaka stock so ni poa pia mtu akiwa na principles zake uh, stick to them for a good entrepreneurial uh, mind Another one ninaweza sema ni maybe tuseme hata lack of knowledge mtu anaingia into a, a, a business lakini hana know how ya yeah, how to run the business how to sustain the business so pia ni poa watu wa kuwe wana seek advice na watu watafute information we are very like lucky we are in a digital world kuko na google Unaweza google stuff na find out how you can go about everything. So information is power. Seek advice from the people who are already in the in that field, whichever field it is. Ndio uamoke. Another one ni kuchagua chagua. Like kwa wale wenye wana employee wa live alone wenye wana start up businesses. Unapata most youths wako na standards wana set mtu hana qualifications za that which anataka ku achieve ama ku, ku pursue lakini anachagua akipata job ya kama hoteli hivi ananyira kama ni kazi ya nyumba hataki yani an, anachagua chagua hataki kuji, ku, kujihusisha in in the real world because the real the real hustle lama the real world ni ujitume yenye inapatikana unachangamkia you be positive 
and out of it unaweza make that which yenye unataka ku achieve in the near future so wa youth wenzangu tuchangamkie whatever it is that we get now we be patient kwa sababu success is not an a one night thing you have to hustle and bustle you have to be persistent you have to be consistent you have to be patient and above all to work as a god in bele so that we can we can push through so ngina's beauty parlor and cosmetic inapatikana ndani ya maimahio next to actually opposite total petrol station along nairobi naivasha highway kwa building iko opposite iko next to grace and hotel inaitwa soko ndogo stalls uh, the room is g7 stroke g14 that is the cosmetic shop kwenye mtandao unaweza kunipata on facebook ngenas beauty you can follow me kwa instagram ngenas beauty na you can also follow ngena shiko utapata updates zangu on instagram on facebook pia najiita ngena shiko and uh, you can also call on 0718 87703 0718 na pia kikuja soko soko ndogo stalls ukiulizia kwa ngina you are home pia tunafanya wedding wedding packages that is in terms of nails kama ni extensions gels kuna makeup kuna hair do ama hair styling reach us on those we will interact more reach us on those contacts to interact more and our motto is satisfaction guaranteed so be, be be assured that you will be satisfied with our services so we will be right back after the short break stay tuned The Kenya Studios is a production house solely determined to offer you substantially quality precise services. We are brim equipped to offer film production including movies, documentaries and advertisements, photography and photo mounting, live streaming, events, feature story and music videos. Graphic design and printing. Voiceovers and DJ and sound services. To access any of our services, reach us at Mze Kenya Studios on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe to our two YouTube channels. You can also email us at mzekenyastudios at gmail.com or call us on 0782-566-698. Mze Kenya Studios. Substantial quality precision. Hi, I'm Mary Njeri, a beautician by profession, or rather a hairdresser by profession. I'm a client of Mze Kenya Studios Photography. I'd like you to, to follow all his social media platforms. Keep watching this video and subscribe to both of their YouTube channels. Thank you for watching. Mze Kenya Studios. Substantial quality precision. intending to join to join a college or university that depends with whatever grade you mepata and that which you want to pursue siwezi kuwa precise kukwambia to go for this 
or this or this but at least tafuta vitu zenye ziko crowded um unaweza notice like right now most courses ziko crowded like unapata more than enough people wamefanya hizo courses but the opportunities out there ziko minimal so just go for something you know you can deliver like something you are passionate about something yenye unajua itakuchosha it's not because of the money or whatever it is because you have that ina push ya kupasu that kind of a thing because either way upate job ama ukose uh, and uh, tuombi ukose job in the future but at least you can do something with whatever umeacquire so also ukienda university ama college make sure you ukwe mtu wako na principles ujibebe ina maana that hata wewe inaweza kukupush to another level what i believe is that opportunity zina coming ones and an opportunity kikupita imekupita so being in campus ukienda pale ukae kama uta waste time of course ama ukose ku concentrate more na kenye imekupeleka pale you might end up losing it in this way utatoka kwa kwa kampo like u face life and then ikuwe ni tough kwako because most of the things zenye ulikuwa uakwae pale haukukuwa na chance maybe kazi yako ilikuwa masherehe na nini na nini so make sure you utilize that opportunity and there is one thing that i believe about having fun having fun will never die in fact it gets better and better every day so pursue that which enye mekupeleka pale campus and then once you are out here you are going to have content ya kenye unataka kufanya utakuwa na muscles you umezi build from down there so do you uko kwenye campus na make sure you have done your best you don't waste time there so kwa ule mtu mwenye anatoka campus naweza mu advise akitoka asikue single minded akue open minded like anaweza pursue whatever it is that is at hand anaweza kuwa creative asikue mtu wa kuchagua chagua ati siwezi fanya hii siwezi fanya hii jitume wherever an opportunity calls just make sure you utilize it in a perfect way and in the best way even the bible tells us that whatever uh, your hands find to do do it with all your heart and with all your and god is going to bless it so ukitoka usitoke na ile single mindedness ya lazima nimesomea hii lazima nifanye kitu ambayo inahusikana na hii wewe toka tu kwa ground vitu ni different my friend pata whatever it is work it out and give it your best out of it mungu ana come through na ana bless for those intending to put up a business i would ask you to start wherever you are from whatever capital you have as long as you have an idea yeah what you want to put up where answer to wherever you are whatever you have at hand na whatever challenges zenye utapitia ukuwe na muscles za ku <laughs> ku survive kwa sababu the moment you may give up it's not going to to go anywhere but to keep push you push you push you push you are going to give birth to something sweet kuna watu pia how are you employed they are just maybe housewives and uh, yani wewe uko tu hakuna kitu yenye ume, ume decide with your life i would advise that you don't stay at home i would advise that you jitume personally nimewahi anza kibanda na 280 bob and it ended up to becoming a a kagen shop inaitangwa general shop so ndio ninasema wherever you are whatever it is uko nayo anza nayo if it is capital that you are looking for jitume fulia watu nguo pikia watu mandazi na chai fanya hizo vitu zenye unaweza ku afford at that time and then god is going to see whatever it is that you want to pursue na atako push to another level Hey, my daily routine is quite something. So, I'm a bad alarm, but I strive so much. By 5, nimeamka. Uh from 5 to around 
5:30 nafanyanga cleaning yangu ya hao because i am alone <laughs> nafanya cleaning 5:30 na mshawatoi i prepare them for school because they leave at around 6:45 i prepare their breakfast i do morning prayers with them and a bit of morning devotion with them waki toka 6:45 I give myself 15 minutes to prepare myself which sometimes is not very 15 minutes but the goodness <laughs> it happens like that by 7 nimetoka kwa hao by around 7:20 niko job shule I do my daily duties at 4:30 ndio tunatoka job immediately I take matatu to my work premises na chapa chapa kazi kama iko up to around 7 latest kulingana na customers wenye wana flow naenda home i do my evening schedule wenye nimeipanga i do supper and then i sleep by latest 10 10 that that is basically my routine I won't go to the nitty gritties. <laughs> Then I wait for the next day. As Nginas Beauty uh, Hub, we have um we have opportunities for those willing to learn, for those willing to work with us. Na come up, don't be idle wherever you are. Kuja, we have a place for you. Ujifunze kazi whether you have the money or you don't tukikuja na tuonge i am this very flexible person but don't take advantage of that nitakufunza so that at least the busy mind in a in a in a help rather than an idol one it's the devil's workshop so when a youth if you feel stranded wherever you are come around tutakupea kazi kazi ni mingi yeni What up what up <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>